What celebrities live in Jupiter? And no, I'm not talking about Jupiter the planet, even though many celebrities seem like they come from there. You talking to me? I'm talking about Jupiter, Florida, the home of the late, great Burt Reynolds. <laughs> When most people think about celebrities living in Florida, they think about Palm Beach or Miami, but Jupiter has been the home of celebrities for years. And why wouldn't they? It's a beautiful place to live. It's been Lisa and I's home for 35 years. So I'm gonna tell you who these celebrities are, where they live, where you might bump into them, and how much it costs you to be their neighbor. You be my neighbor. And if you watch to the end, I'm gonna tell you about the two most famous celebrities that live in Jupiter, and why one of them, even though they live in the most exclusive golf community in the state of Florida, built their own golf course because they wanted it to be even more exclusive. So don't go anywhere. Hi my friends, if this is the first time you've been to my channel, my name is Lee Bricky and on this channel we talk about everything real estate in Palm Beach County and the Treasure Coast. So if any of that interests you, then you should subscribe to this channel if you already have it because eventually we're going to cover something that you're interested in. And also don't forget that I'm a full-time real estate agent, so if you're interested in purchasing real estate or selling real estate, don't hesitate to reach out to me because I would love to help you. I've helped hundreds of people make the right decision when buying and selling real estate right here in the great state of Florida. Now our first celebrity is Robert James Ritchie or better known as Kid Rock. Because I wanna be a cowboy, baby. Now most people think Kid Rock lives in Detroit, but he has a house right here in Jupiter in Jupiter Inlet Colony. Now, many people think that Jupiter Inlet Colony is a part of Jupiter Island, but it's its own separate town. Kid Rock's home is sitting right on the beach on Ocean Drive as you come out of the Jupiter Inlet. The house is five bedrooms and three baths and over 5,000 square foot and was built in 1959. For all of you seasoned folks out there, you might remember Perry Como, Jupiter Inlet Colony was Perry Como's home for years right on the Jupiter Inlet across from the lighthouse. It's impossible. Now Kid Rock purchased the home in 2012 for $3.2 million and spent $30,000 upgrading the home and then put in a pool and an American flag garage door. Now there are no pictures or videos of the inside of the home that I'm aware of, but if you wanna be Kid Rock's neighbor, it's going to run you about five million dollars. Little side note, one of my best friends and her partner did all of the decorating in the house, never invited Lisa and I over. I mean, she should have invited us over just to come take a look at her work, right? Well, that's the story of my life. No respect. Now, our next celebrity is actually a neighbor of Kid Rock, Jason Newstead. Now, if you don't know who Jason Newstead is, you might remember him as the bass player for Metallica, my favorite rock band. That's me playing the bass. I can't play the bass. I can barely play the guitar. Now, as I said, his home is right around the corner from Kid Rock's home on Lighthouse Drive, right on the Jupiter Inlet as you're going in or out. Now, I don't have any pictures or video of the inside of Jason's house, but if you're in the neighborhood, you might see his neighbors hanging out by his driveway, listening to him and his band, The Chop House, rock. But hey, Jason, if you're listening, how about let me bring a film crew over and film the inside of your home, and then after that, maybe you can give me some bass lessons. Good luck. Now, if you know who Jason Newstead is, you might not know a couple of things about him. One of the things about him is he and his wife have lived in their home in Jupiter for years, and he's been a huge part of the Jupiter community doing free concerts for local charities around town like they did just in Abacoa for Little Smiles. And something else about Jason is this dude is a really good artist. I love his art, it's super cool. Next celebrity on the list is Joe Namath, or better known as Broadway Joe. Joe and his family have been Jupiter residents now for 34 years. Joe lives on Bay Harbor Road in Jupiter, right on the Loxahatchee River. 
His home sits on almost half acre. It has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and includes over 6,000 square feet of living space with a boat dock and a swimming pool. Also, Joe and his partner, Charlie, have Charlie and Joe's at Love Street, where you may be able to run into Joe, but if you don't, you're gonna be able to enjoy some great seafood and don't miss out on the rooftop bar where you can sit and have a cocktail and look at the beautiful Jupiter Inlet and the lighthouse. Then if you love golf, and my wife and I do, Jupiter is home sweet home to some of the top PGA professionals on the PGA Tour. Now starting with Jack Nicholas, the golden bear himself, Jack Nicholas lives on Old Harbor Road in Old Port Village with his wife, Barbara. Now Jack and Barbara actually live in North Palm Beach, but are considered Jupiter residents. His home was built in 1970, is almost 10,000 square foot of living space. It has seven bedrooms and seven baths and is located on the Jupiter Intercoastal, as you can see by the large boats in the back. And just a little side note about me and how I came to live in Florida was my mom worked for Jack Nicholas when they were building Ibis Golf and Country Club out west. And it was actually Jackie's, his son's first designed golf course. I shagged bags there and gave a try at tournament golf. And Jack's club maker, Jack Wolcotty, actually set me up with a set of Jack's Mirfield muscle backs that he had played with on the tour, including the one iron, which Jack could crush. And I flushed it. And I carried the bunker. It hit the pin and bounced down like that. I made two. Just amazing. I'm sure I still have those golf clubs somewhere in storage, but boy, they were hard to hit, especially the one iron. Our next celebrity is another pro golfer, Justin Thomas or JT. Now JT is one of my favorites, and the last time I looked was ranked number six in the world and is only 29 years old. JT lives on Pinnock Point Road, again, right on the Loxahatchee River. His home was built in 2008 and is surrounded with trees for privacy with a long drive that leads you up to the home where you find a three car garage with an additional 1150 square foot apartment above the garage allowing for storage and an in-law suite. The home has a huge kitchen with a fireplace in both living areas, glass everywhere, and French doors leading out to the patio, outdoor kitchen, pool, and spa. Also, he has a private boat ramp and dock, again, on the beautiful Loxahatchee River. He paid $3.1 million for the home, but it's substantially worth more now. Why JT is one of my favorites is because he has one of the biggest hearts on the tour for families and kids. JT has the Justin Thomas Foundation. And if you didn't know, JT was a beneficiary of a grant for golf that allowed him to play junior golf and become the great golfer he is today because otherwise his family wouldn't have been able to afford it. So to give back, his foundation supports children at need, junior golf, and military families. And I hear his mom's just as sweet as he is because my buddy pulled her over just a couple of months ago because the tent on JT's car was too dark and she happened to be driving it. Now obviously my buddy let his mom off on a warning, but JT, if you're listening to this, fix that tent. And I don't care. My buddy I found a house for here in Jupiter when he came from NYPD to start working for Juno. I told him it would be a security guard position. It is, but it's a high paid one and he's super happy to be out of New York. So if you're NYPD and you're looking to move to Florida, give me a call. I got good references. Now, just like Jason Newston and Kid Rocker neighbors, Ricky Fowler and JT also live right down the street from each other on Pinnock Point Road. Ricky tore down the house that was there before and built his $14 million, 11,575 square foot home in 2016. The home has six bedrooms and nine bathrooms. The house also has a theater, a huge, beautiful man cave with pool tables, room for his cars and more. 
There's also a large outdoor kitchen with a fireplace as well as a huge pool. There are patio spaces everywhere with floor to ceiling windows. The home's yard even has its own practice tee. He also has a huge pier reaching out into the Loxahatchee River and there's no wake zone, so it's a great place to ride your jet ski. Which brings me to this. Ricky's a bit of a thrill seeker with his jet skis and his fast cars. And if you're around town, you might run into Ricky and some of his friends having dinner at places like Guanabanas. Next on our list is Dustin Johnson. Now Dustin and his wife live in the private golf and yachting community of Admiral's Cove. The home sits on the Jupiter Intercoastal Waterway with 110 feet of water frontage that can accommodate an 80 foot boat. The modern design of the house sets off huge open spaces. The home was completely renovated and has over 10,000 square foot under air with five ensuite bedrooms and two and a half additional baths. There's soaring ceilings, water views from almost every room in the house, and the backyard looks like a resort with a covered porch, huge outdoor kitchen, and an infinity pool, spa, and fire pit. He paid $14 million for the home, but if you want to be Dustin's neighbor, you can get into Admiral's Cove for around $2.5 million, but you're looking at about $195,000 membership fee, plus dues. You know, I've often thought of becoming a golf club. Our next celebrity is Tiger Woods. Now, Tiger lives on Jupiter Island on Beach Road, and his home is straight up ridiculous. But if you're Tiger, you can afford ridiculous. Tiger's home is approximately 9,700 square feet under air and is divided into two separate sections, a 3,300 square foot living quarters and a 6,400 square foot multi-purpose building. You can travel from one side of the home to the other through a glass tunnel. Who has a glass tunnel in their home in Florida? Nobody but Tiger. Tiger's home is estimated at a low, low cost of $40 million. The living quarters contains Tiger's master bedroom and an additional three sizable bedroom suites. The other building includes a world-class gym, a theater, and a multimedia room. Outdoors, the home has a 100-foot swimming and lap pool and a 60-foot diving pool. Also, don't forget the golf. The home has a private four hole practice facility and it's on the Jupiter Inlet side. So he has a dock where he can park his yacht and his boat. And then right across the street is the ocean. Then if you're interested in maybe running into Tiger, you may catch him at his restaurant, The Woods, across the bridge from Jupiter Island to Jupiter. The finest eating establishment ever established for eating. And then if you'd like to be Tiger's neighbor, you're looking at 15 to $90 million to be on the intercoastal or ocean side of Jupiter Island. And then our next celebrity who is last but not least, Tiger's good friend, Michael Jordan. Jordan's home is located in the very exclusive Bears Club, probably the most exclusive club in Florida. The home site is on three acres with 11 bedrooms. He has the home landscaped with a forest of trees for privacy, and there's basically no glimpse of the house from the road. The home has three separate structures, a two-story guard house, a guest house, and a pool house. He has an athletic wing together with a basketball court and workout facility. And it's rumored that he has a huge media room with state-of-the-art electronics, and it's cigar friendly. But if you want to be Jordan's neighbor, keep in mind that the Bears Club is the most exclusive golf club in the state of Florida. With a Jack Nicklaus design course, the membership fee comes at a $350,000 prize tag and $25,000 a year of dues. But if you're Jordan, playing on the most exclusive golf course in the state of Florida, well, just isn't enough. You need to build your own. Some people simply do not belong. And it would be called no other name but Grove 23. And you can find it at 2323 Black Cat Way in Hope Sound. For a snack, a drink, or a cigar, no fear because a drone will bring it to you on the golf course. Cool beans. Cool beans. 
Lisa and I actually pulled up next to Jordan a few months ago getting off I-95 at Donald Ross Road. He was in his brand new Ferrari 812 super fast, smoking a cigar with his cap on, heading to his house. But if you don't find Jordan running around in his Ferrari, you could catch him at his restaurant at 1000 North, right on the intercoastal overlooking the beautiful Jupiter Lighthouse. Are there any celebrities that I missed? If there are, and you know something that I don't, leave them in the comment section below and maybe I'll add them to a future video. And if you're interested in moving to any of these communities that I mentioned in the video, or if you'd like to move anywhere to Palm Beach County or the Treasure Coast, give me a call. I'd love to help you find the perfect home. And if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. It lets me know I'm doing a good job and I really appreciate it. Also, if you haven't subscribed already to this channel, go ahead and slap that subscribe button right there. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our real estate tips and tours. And if you're still deciding on a place to live here in Palm Beach County or the Treasure Coast, you can go ahead and watch that video right there. Be kind to each other. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.